Hey, what's up guys? It's TechSumer talking to you here. And in today's video, I wanna talk about the Apple Vision Pro. And can it kill the iPhone? Is this finally the iPhone killer? Apple has finally made an iPhone killer, right? Well, I don't think so. And I have an explanation why. Because I think Apple Vision Pro is more of a Mac killer than it is an iPhone killer. But of course, as you know, Apple likes to create products that kill their most famous one. Most famously, they had the iPod that was killed by the iPhone. And Apple said, and under Steve Jobs' guidance, they said that they need to find the next big thing that kills their bread and butter. Because now they keep on top of the market. And that will happen with the iPod, with the iPhone. And now people are saying that's going to happen with Apple Vision Pro. In the beginning, they were saying that Apple Watch was killing the iPhone, but Apple had different plans for the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch was supposed to be an accessory for the iPhone not a replacement. But I think that Apple Vision Pro is more than a killer for the iPhone. I think Apple Vision Pro is a Mac killer because I think Apple has been referring it as a computer, not as a mobile device. So if you are excited for this video, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Let's really analyze what are the best use cases for the Apple Vision Pro and which devices will it replace. First of all, Apple Vision Pro came out in WWDC of this year. And we have now like two days of people talking about the impressions on its hands, the first tryouts from YouTubers like MKBHD, iJustine, The Verge, everyone has had their first impressions now. And this video, it's kind of a different. I don't want to blend in all, all of these videos. I just want to talk about the use cases of Apple Vision Pro, what are its specs, the main focus of this device, and which devices, mainly which Apple devices will it replace. Well. For starters, I think it will replace the Mac. I think the Apple Vision Pro, as we know it, in the current state of Apple Vision Pro, will replace the Mac in about 10 years. I think Apple wants you to have a different computer experience, a computer experience that you put in your face and you control using your eyes and fingers. I think this is better for people that are like working, stationed, and they need a workhorse device. This device will be much better because it will allow you to put different type of stuff on your air, like on your environment, and when you want to zone out on your work environment that it will be very crowded, then you just zone out. Or when you are working at home and need to work with other people and other colleagues, you can use Apple Vision Pro to create a meeting setup that is much, much better with video conferencing using FaceTime or Zoom. It's also much better for presentations using Apple Vision Pro to meetings or team meetings. I think it's a workhorse device first to replace the Mac. I think it won't replace the Mac on obvious tasks like video editing currently or even photo editing because that you need very, very good computers and very, very accurate displays. And I don't think that these small displays will be as accurate as a Pro Display XGR. Although they are really, really good. They are almost like 23 million pixels. They are micro OLED, so they are really, really crisp and bright. I don't know if they are color accurate enough, but that's a different discussion for later. But I think for general computing, working, Apple Vision Pro will replace the Mac in about 10 years. And this is actually a very conservative thinking because I think that Apple Vision Pro, as it is currently, has the potential to replace the Mac already. It has the M2 chip, it has the R1 chip, but mainly that M2 chip is the same chip found on the current 15-inch MacBook Air with the M2, so a full-fledged Mac. Of course, this has a cooling system while the MacBook Air doesn't, so this is a cooled M2 much better than the non-cooled M2 present on the 15-inch and 13-inch MacBook Air. So this has the potential to be so, so powerful and so much better than those computers at doing computer tasks. So if this Apple headset can be better than those computers at computing and it has so many features like environments, high sight, like it has this AR mode, you can create huge displays, you can watch movies, you can immerse in virtual reality or at least augment your real one. I think this has so many potentials to replace the Mac, especially on those jobs that you need to have a 3D modeling and need to work with 3D modeling. I think it will be very, very useful to imagine and to see the 3D modeling on your space and to touch it, move it. Like this will be the future that we imagine with Iron Man and Tony Stark. I think this will be so, so much better at that than the Mac. And I think that the Mac is at risk, at least in this current form, in the next 10 years. I know that Mac Pro and Mac Studio, those desktop Macs, are probably not threatened as much as portable Macs and MacBooks, but I think this is the beginning of the end for the Mac. 
As for the iPhone, I don't think that this is an iPhone killer. Think with me. This is not a mobile device that you can take everywhere and you have like 12 hours of battery life. No, you only have two. And maybe in the future you will have four. And maybe in 15 years you will have six or eight. But I think you will never be as good as the iPhone. And the cameras will probably have only these 3D features or 2D features, even if they are this good, who wants to be on a photo, like taking a photo of your family with all of them using the Apple Vision Pro or some sort of Apple headset, AR headset. In the picture, you will be using those headsets. And if you are not using the headset, then you are not taking the picture. And if you are taking the picture using the headset and you don't want to appear it, you will not be in it. But I think that the camera issue on the iPhone is probably the biggest thing that the Apple Vision Pro cannot replace. The camera on the iPhone is now the most vital part of the phone. And I don't see Apple Vision Pro replacing this because the camera on Apple Vision Pro can take 3D photos, 3D videos. But when you are doing so, you are exclu excluding yourself from the business of taking photos and videos because you are wearing this device that cannot take photos of yourself. And if it can, it will be like machine learning photos. It won't be real, not your real face, not your real emotions. So that part, I think, because this device is completely attached to your face, will not be able to replace the iPhone's camera. And of course, it can replace FaceTime, it can replace work, it can replace calls, it can replace communication, it can replace entertainment, media watching, streaming videos, watching movies. But also the Mac can do that, also the iPad can do that, and they are not iPhone killers. What makes the iPhone different is that it's small enough to fit in your pocket, but it's powerful enough to browse the web, to communicate with everyone, to take extremely good photo and videos, and to do every single thing you need. You can like access this whole internet portal, this whole internet access with your iPhone is probably the most vital parts of this phone, together with the social media aspect, with the camera aspect. Like this shareable form factor, I think is what makes the iPhone probably the biggest and heaviest eater on Apple's lineup. But I think the Apple Vision Pro will replace the Mac like I told you in the beginning of this video. I think this device will be able to replace the Mac because the Mac is like ancient on its core. It's a computer. It's not a mobile computer, it's a computer. You can have mobile computers, of course, the MacBook Pros, but still, those are a screen with a keyboard and a mouse. You have a screen with an input method. It's not more than that. You just have a mouse, a keyboard and a screen. And you can replace all of that with Apple Vision Pro. You can have a virtual keyboard, you can use your fingers as the input method, and you can use your eyes to navigate the system. And it's much better because you can choose the size of your screen, where to put your screens, and how many screens do you want. And on top of that, you can also keep up with spatial audio, you can watch huge movies on huge cinemas, and change the way you interact and you actually focus on your work. Because with environments, you'll be able to put yourself on a sole environment and feel completely alone and work, work, work. As for the Mac, you are always susceptible to the environment around you. You cannot isolate yourself unless you go into a room alone and isolate yourself. And this on companies is really, really difficult because on a company field, you cannot like isolate yourself. You always have people, you always have noise, you always have distractions. With Apple Vision Pro, all of this will be removed. And I think Apple Vision Pro will be more of a threat to the Mac and to the iPad than it is to the iPhone. I think the iPhone will keep up being one of the most vital parts of Apple's ecosystem. But Apple Vision Pro has a future and I think it might kill one or two Apple devices. Let me know in the comments down below what you think on that. So there's so many use cases that the Apple Vision Pro cannot replace the iPhone. Like for example, when you want to show someone something, you cannot use the Apple Vision Pro. You cannot just pick your phone and show them like this. Oh, look at this. No, you cannot. You cannot just like decide, oh my God, I want to show you something. This is very funny meme. Look at it. You cannot. The Apple Vision Pro is very, very personal. It's extremely personal. So I don't think it will replace the iPhone. As for the specs of the Apple Vision Pro currently, this device has a 3D molded glass on the front. And it also has this 3D mesh on the back. It's made of aluminium. It has this AirPods Max mesh like on the part that touches your face. This 3D mesh on the back, it's really comfortable and it can be adjustable on these turning wheels at the side. It also has these tweakers, as you can see, on the front between the headset and the mesh. These deliver you spatial audio. The front glass is insane. 
And that's why this is one of the most expensive Apple products ever made. It has and houses tons of sensors. It has an old display that can show your eyes. It has 12 cameras. It has five sensors and six mics. It's insane. It is also has this button that can take photos and videos. Because yes, this device can take 3D photos and 3D videos that you can watch later on 3D. The digital crown present, just like the AirPods Max, is also really useful to interchange between very, very immersed or not that immersed at all. So the level of immersedness you want to have on VR. As for the displays, this headset features two 4K micro LED displays that give you around 23 million pixels. These displays are responsible for giving you an immersive experience with AR and VR. And Zeiss also makes prescription lenses for people that need it. These lenses attach magnetically to the headset's display, so they're easily interchangeable. This headset is powered by two chips, the M2 chip and the R1 chip. The M2 responsible for CPU performance and the R1 for accessing the sensor movements and of course for the all AR experience. This device is powered by an external battery made of soft aluminium which connects via a MagSafe like puck to the headset. You just put it on your pocket and you don't have to use it as weight on your head. So these specs are really good and for $3500 I think it's still cheap. Yes, it's expensive but for the product that it is, for the capabilities that it does, this Apple Vision Pro headset is actually very very capable. But again, going back to the main question, is like working, watching movies, like augmented reality that could, current, in its current state, that it can replace the iPhone? Well, I don't think so. And even on the concept of the Apple Vision Pro, is this capable of replacing the iPhone? Is this an iPhone killer? I don't think so. I think still the iPhone will have a relevant part on Apple's future. But the one device that I think will be an iPhone killer though will be the Apple Glass. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the Apple Glasses. Different, sm way smaller and just focused on Apple reality, not as much on VR, which this headset is like 90% focused on AR but has some features for VR, like the environment features. Those are cool, but I think they are not capable of doing that on the pair of glasses. Even if they could, I don't think it would be ethical because the pair of glasses is just made for you to look through, not for you to focus on. So let me know in the comments below what you think. And of course, while you're there, do you think that the iPhone will be replaced and killed by the Apple Vision Pro or some sort of evolution from this device? Or do you think this category will be something different just like the iPad and the Mac are? Let me know in the comments below what you think. While you're there, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel. This has been Tech Summer talking to you here. Bye-bye.